During an interview this week with, of course, Steve Bannon, MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell whined about the fact that Elon Musk has still not let me back on Twitter. <laughs> and Mike Lindell offer, I love that I'm laughing at my own impression. Like, that's good. That's cute. I like it. Um, <laughs> sorry, Lindell said that he is willing to drop everything at a moment's notice and go meet with Elon Musk one on one, mano a mano to show him all of the evidence he has so that he can prove he's not pushing election lies and he can get his Twitter account back. But uh, here's an exchange between Mike Lindell and Steve Bannon, uh, where Bannon was shocked to learn that Musk hasn't even reached out to Steve Bannon. Here it is. My, my shout out to uh, Elon Musk would be, uh, you know, if you're such should be a new platform of, uh, of free speech, um, but yet you're going to carve out the guys that talk about our election crimes and our election integrity. Um, I don't think it's that free, Steve. I think it's, I, I think I would like to do a shout out to Elon Musk right now. Hey, check out the evidence. I was banned because uh, I was telling the truth. And that's, that's, uh, that's disgusting. And I, to be one of the few people that's hold, still hold banned. Hold, hold, hang on, hang on. Hold, hold, Mike hold, 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 still banned. They, Mike hang on. They have banned. not, they have not reached out to you and asked you for the evidence you had and ask you no. to, to come. After that, Lindell continued and he said this. Well, first of all, okay. Bannon asked him, would you commit right now to do an open live Twitter with Elon Musk? He could play 20 questions. He'd rip your face off. You present your evidence and he takes you on mano a mano and your evidence about what you believe is the voter fraud related to machines and other things in the 2020 election to which Mike Lindell responded. Absolutely. And I would do that any day, any time, any time of day or night. And I'll drop everything I have to do that, Steve, because I believe it's very important to our country. And if you're going to have a platform of free speech now and without this cancel culture, you can't just say anybody that talked about machines can't be on it. He's got a point. But let's be honest, there is nothing free speechy about the guy that fires people for criticizing him, which is exactly what Elon Musk is. Can we please drop this charade of Elon Musk being a free speech warrior? Uh, only stupid people say that. If you hear somebody say that Elon Musk is all about free speech, go ahead and assume that that person is a, you know, idiot to put it mildly. So you hear that they're automatically an idiot discount everything they say from that point forward, folks. Here's the fun part. Elon Musk, of course, is getting requests all the time. Marjorie Taylor Greene tweeted out a, or retweeted a list of people <laughs> that should get their Twitter accounts back. Mike Lindell's name was not on it. Um, everybody seems to have forgotten about poor little Mike Lindell not being allowed on Twitter. But what I also love about this is Lindell sitting there like, I'll, I'll show him the evidence. You know, this evidence that I've been teasing out, I've held multiple cyber symposiums to show the evidence and then I never actually show it. But if it means getting my Twitter account back, then I'll totally finally show it to this one guy. How do people... How are there still people in this country that believe that Mike Lindell has actual evidence of a stolen election? Like he's literally telling us here when you read between the lines, like, oh, I still have all the info and I know I haven't shown it to anybody, but I'm willing to show it to Elon just to get back on Twitter. If, if the evidence existed, if it were real, if it were actually a thing, Mike Lindell would not hesitate to blast it all over the media, to hold another cyber symposium and show everybody in the country what it's about. But he hasn't done that because he doesn't have it, because it doesn't exist, because he's a big fat liar. That's the thing everybody needs to understand about this. And it's getting quite exhausting having to say it every time we talk about Mike Lindell. But as long as he's out there pushing it, we'll be right here pushing back and letting everybody know that this man is not just a liar, but he's an absolute fraud. If he had what he says he had, we'd all know it. So would the courts, so would the companies. He would have gotten the defamation lawsuits against him dismissed. He hasn't done any of that because he doesn't have anything to back up a single thing that he says. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, 
you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.